Today we'll be going through our clear calcs free diaphragm analysis and we'll just walk through the different things that you can do in this calculator. So first thing you'll see is diaphragm type. In our free analysis right now we only support flexible diaphragms. Next we'll look at the length of the diaphragm. We've got 25 feet right here and obviously this is in imperial units right now but it works just the same if you're using um, metric units. Say we enter a 100 foot diaphragm then this is where you'll be in, able to enter your braced wall lines. So this might be where you have shear walls or a portal frame or something like that. You'll see that by default, we have a braced wall line at both ends of the diaphragm. But if we wanted to add another one, we can add as many as we'd like. So I could add, say, another line. And maybe it's a portal frame. So I can do portal frame one. And if I wanted to have, say, it, uh, 40 feet from the end of the diaphragm, I could just type in 40 feet. And you can see here at the bottom, you can already see it's showing the little support on the diaphragm, which is the portal frame. Um, I could add another one, or if I had, say, part of my diaphragm cantilevered out, I could also change, you can see I've got zero and L. I could say L, which means the end of my diaphragm, minus 10 feet. And you can see now I've got that little 10 foot overhang on my diaphragm. Next is where I'll enter my loads. So you can see right now I've got a lateral load um, of 10 pounds per linear foot, both wind and earthquake loads. Um, there might be a situation where these values change. For instance, with my wind, I might have edge zones and middle zones. So if I wanted to add, say, an edge zone, I could do, say, from 0 feet to 20 feet and add my wind in pounds per linear foot. Say I have 40 pounds per linear foot here. You'll notice we asked for the start and end magnitude. By default, this is just the same as the original one. But if you had, say, a triangular load distribution, you'd be able to change that here. Um, what case where that might apply is if you had, say, a diaphragm supporting the gable roof, where your, uh, your height of roof is changing as you go along the length of the diaphragm. So I've got my edge zone here. If I wanted to say I can remove my wind here and only have the seismic loads 10 pounds per linear foot, then I could have middle zone for wind. And I would do from 20 feet until the end of the diaphragm, so L. And I could just say maybe that's 20 pounds per linear foot. And you can see I've got my middle zone now, which is 20 pounds per linear foot. So that's about it on the inputs. Now, if we look at the outputs, um, first thing you'll see is the shear demand in the diaphragm, so 700 pounds. So this is what you'd be able to check against the shear capacity of your diaphragm, whether that's wood sheathing or steel decking or whichever one it is that you're using with your flexible diaphragm. It'll also tell you what's governing. So in this case, we're governed by wind shear. So this is what will you want to use in our design values. Then you'll see the demands table. And what this tells you is for each wall line, what is the load coming from wind and what's the one coming from seismic? So we can see right now my portal frame in the middle is taking 984 pounds from wind and 442 from seismic. You can also see these in a little diagram here. So if I zoom in a little bit here, you'll see we've got braced wall line one, 698 pounds, 199 pounds for seismic etc. for the different uh, wall lines. You'll also be able to see a shear diagram. Now, important thing to note, because we're treating this as a simple flexible diaphragm, we're not assuming continuity of the cords at uh, the support lines. Um, so we're basically assuming that these are all simple beams at every between every uh, wall line. So that's what we're doing. You can see there the, the cantilever. And then you can also see a free body diaphra uh, diagram um, so you can see right now we're looking at wind. We can also look at the seismic load combination. And then you can see this one's just a flat 10 pounds per linear foot. So that's about it for our diaphragm analysis. You can always reach out to us if you've got any questions at help at clearcalcs.com. Or you can click the help button here and we'll, you can see some articles that will help you. And then you can also send us a message and we try to answer as fast as we can. Thank you very much. I hope this was helpful. Goodbye.